pop down that shelf of the sunglasses and then that will gain access to the shelf itself and you want to get in there gently with a flat edge screwdriver and there's two little tabs or uh, clips that you want to just kind of lever the, the unit away from and that will allow the whole shelf now to slide out and the reason you want to do that is because that will gain access now to a couple of the screws and the units that are holding it in so you can see there's a couple of slides where it, it clips in and slides back and then pushes up directly where it's got to go so just showing you guys exactly the function of how that's installed so with the sunglasses case out of the way you'll gain access to the first lot of screws that we've got to take out and these are usually the Phillips head type of style screw but they can also be the T20 or T15 as, as well so they do slightly change there so you're gonna need all those tools on you and um, once we take those ones out we can move to the middle section so all together I think on these sunglasses cases we have got uh, a combination of six screws to take off so you want to gently get behind this little plastic unit they're quite flimsy and brittle and usually um, just due to the heat that's building up in the car over time they can get quite brittle but you just want to gently pop it off there's only a few little plastic tabs that are holding it in so you don't have to get too rough with this one you just gotta gently pop it off and um, at the front there and then pull those tongues out from the rear place that in the safe section and now we have access to the next lot of screws so uh, these ones are just a t20 and they can be black or chrome silver looking as well so today these are just the black ones and you want to take those ones out and then next we're going to move towards taking the whole unit out to get access to the wires from behind and then two more lot of screws as well so once those screws are taken off completely you can just get in there with your fingertips and pull that whole front unit down uh, there's a few tabs that are holding it in but just gentle pressure directly downwards gain access to those that wiring connector and the harness there just unplug those the one in the middle there this is the sunroof model so it's slightly different to what yours may be if you haven't got a sunroof uh, slightly less more plugs you would have to take off to be honest and um, yeah that unit there you can just get behind with a, like a flathead or a an upholstery skewer just to pop the connector off so we'll go ahead and do that now so yeah we'll just pop that one off now and um, move ahead just get in there behind with a upholstery skewer just gently remove it off to where it's got to go I find that's the easiest way to take them off you don't want to be pulling on the wires itself to remove any connectors or harnesses you want to actually get behind the clip itself there's a clip up the front there that powers the whole headlining so you just unplug that otherwise if you don't unplug it just the weight of the headlining coming down may potentially break those wires because the wires are only like tape wires they can get quite brittle and um, two more screws we're going to take off these ones uh, pretty much bolt the whole uh, headlining and that whole um, uh, bracket itself to the uh, to the roof so those ones have got the metal little uh, tags and clips behind it so they can shift out of place now with that down we can just remove the outer surround drop it down and we have got that completely out the way now so and we can um, finish off and make sure that's all nice and flush as well push it in make sure it's all seated correctly there's no gaps there's no um, uh, you know it's all um, pushed up nice and tight that little harness there once you plug it in that little wiring clip there that will power the whole headlining itself so that's when you can just, once that's plugged in you can check your sun visor lights and make sure that everything's working because if you pinch the wire at all during say the installation of the sun visors say you put the screw in and you've like damaged the wire well then you're going to earth the system so it's always good idea just to check the lights um, after you finish installing those sun visors just to make sure that everything's working correctly So we went ahead and finished off all the grab handles. They're all done now. Now. We just want to focus on that front uh, Sunglasses console so you want to grab that outer plastic surround and push it nice and good into location So the left and right both have like a little clip and you want to just um, push them into Location just to get it all lined up ready for the screws to go in and um, yeah sometimes if, if if it sits in okay by itself that's good so um, we just start by using those two screws up the front we're just using a flat head here but they are actually a uh, normally a Phillips head screw or they can be most likely it's like a t15 Torx head screw bit 
um, I believe. But um, yeah, the flathead's just doing the job for now. And um, yeah, so once they all line up and go in, we can move ahead and do the two at the back. The two at the back have got the little metal um, tab bracket type of thing behind it as well, what we've been working with on the sun visors and the grab handle. So you've got to obviously make sure that those that little metal tab doesn't fall out of place as well, because if it does, um, you would have to probably get in there and line it back up again, maybe even take off that um, plastic unit that we're actually putting back on. So um, go ahead and do that. And um, that would also probably be that T20 torx head screw so i think what we're doing right now is we're just actually going to get in there with a flathead and just um push the bracket over a bit just to align where the screw's going in because there might be a slight um you know where it's not lining up so maybe it's shifted at some point during the removal stage um so yeah and that's pretty much it once you whack those two screws in we're going to proceed to the next section which is um, putting all the units back on to the sunglasses console itself so these ones this whole car is usually um, probably ideally booked in for two days to be honest because um, but we get them done in one day and um, sometimes we like to give that uh, time overnight just to let the fabric settle before hand over to the customer but yeah I'd probably uh, I would say that a good six to nine hours that these jobs take um, that that allows for a, a plenty of time to if there's any mistakes or anything that needs to be uh, you know tidied up that can happen as well but it's just an idea of a turnaround time maybe for these ones so you just want to plug in that unit um, that front piece now they're quite easy just make sure the wires and the harnesses go all back to the way they were uh, the front section is going to require two more screws to hold it up so um, you want to put those in now and then um, yeah go ahead and finish the rest of it off so after that you just want to grab the sunglasses console itself and push that shelf into place so um, here's a bit of a location at the, the back of it where you just want to load it up line it up and then push it straight up and those two clips hold it up at the front and make sure that it all operates correctly and then put the middle piece back in so put those line those tongues up and they just slide straight in those little plastic tabs that are on that unit can get quite brittle and break as well um, so if they do and the unit doesn't want to sit properly you could probably use like a double-sided tape or a velcro 